Hi, my love, beautiful souls. It's Mystic Wolves 1111. I'm back with Church Bringing Dark into Light. Please take what resonates and leave it does not fit for somebody else. Click or read it on first frame. Thank you to everyone liking, sharing, subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. I love you. Not be where I'm at. So, where I'm at is, if it's not for you guys, for the most high. So thank you so much. If you guided my channel, there's some kind of true clarity confirmation message you're looking for. You may be also guided my channel. It's my so much. Wake you guys up to higher self, higher conscious, up to five years. Okay, Holy Spirit, angels, is the highest light in the most high. Please make a in for the collective. What's going on with this detective knowing with this identity theft, identity fraud? Okay, because I was hearing identity theft, identity fraud, but a detective. detective. Detective looking into it. Detective knows that this person took your money. Okay? Took your identity. Okay, this is Ten of Pentacles here. This is like something took a lot of from you, okay? The, the, this detective knows. This investigator, the authorities, they know. Okay? They know the FBI, whatever. They know that something was taken from you. Okay? Lots of money. It could have been even like stolen property. Okay? Stolen uh, pos items, possessions. Okay? They know. Okay? They're not blinded by this anymore. Okay? They're not blinded. Okay? They can see through this. Okay? Two of swords inverted. They can see. Okay? This detective knows. Okay? Knows that you some kind of money. Someone's trying to hold on to it, okay? They're trying to control it. They're trying to hold on to this money. Somebody from your past, okay? Somebody from your past is um, in control or trying to control, okay? Somebody could sign some um, sign signatures, okay? I heard signatures. Stealing your mail, okay? Stealing your mail, stealing your social security card number, your ID, whatever, okay? Somebody from your past, somebody from your childhood. They betrayed you, Okay? And the trumpets are blown. Okay, divine judgment here. Okay, there's divine intervention here too. Okay, that's why the detective's being called in because of this betrayal from somebody you really love, you care about. Yeah, we have also the justice here. Okay, we have Libra, strong Libra coming out here. Justice Department. Seeing something clearly. They're under judgment as well. That somebody could be under judgment. Somebody could be getting sued to this person that stole from you. Okay, identity theft, identity fraud, um, could be under uh, getting sued. Okay, they could be pay, pay papers coming in the mail for them. Okay, getting put in under a judgment, like a financial judgment. Okay, is what I'm hearing. Financial judgment. Being investigated. This is seven of pentacles, like, in between. So, they were trying to take something from you, okay? There's something about a different direction you took. They were trying to plant some kind of seed as well, and their seed is not coming. I'm getting their seed's not coming fruition, okay? Is when getting with this person, okay? Things are not working out how they were, well, how they want them to work out. We're going to take that inverted. Okay, these people are, it's not working out, okay? If they planted something, it's, it's not. This also, okay, planted, somebody planted some kind of evidence too, okay? Or planted or blamed somebody else as well. There could be fingerprints. This of them losing something. Because when it's upright, it's a reward, okay? It's being given something. A blessing. They're, re they're losing something. Yeah, because they're causing conflict. This is this is a big dispute, okay? This is a dispute here. We have this five of wands. This is a dispute, okay? This is conflict. And they're messing with the wrong one. Childhood could be because family members too, okay? This is you overcoming this. You getting out of this sticky situation here, okay? You are a victim. You're a victim of identity theft, of identity fraud, okay? You are a victim of that, okay? But you're not going to allow yourself to, you know, not be able to move forward, okay? You're not trying, you're not going to stay, stay stuck either um, because this is something that you're going to be coming into. Nine of Pentacles here. This nine of pentacles after this ten of swords. And this is you receiving, okay? This is powerful. Okay, this is powerful. This is you overcoming, okay? You overcoming this. Material success and emotional well being. This could have caused, like, you know, your emotional well being. Like, you could have been, you could have been stressed out. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. Like, you could have been a little bit stressed out. You could have been, like, 
like what's going to happen you know i can't get any credit cards i can't buy a house i can't rent an apartment i can't do this i can't do that because of that this person you were a victim of okay you couldn't do anything it's just you know, something like you know what i mean like um but you're gonna it's, it's gonna it's gonna get better yeah because someone's trying to control something here okay there's four pentacles it's you you need to go back out there no please no Please, you know, you're watching the movie Cars. You're going to be rewarded accordingly, okay? That's what, like, this too. It's, like, reward accordingly. You know? It's about to happen. This is you also. The Four of Pentacles coming out is, like, whatever you have right now is, like, you're holding on to really tightly, okay? Because you don't want anyone to steal from you anymore. You don't want anybody to take from you. So if you have very little assets or you have very little uh, possessions or something, of material things, you're really holding on tight like, right now to that because you don't want somebody to steal from you again or take from you. Especially if right now, like, you, if somebody was uh, identity to fetch with fraud and you can't access anything and, like, you have to um, file a report, you know what I mean? Like, now, like, you have to do all these extra steps. It's, like, a little bit harder now for you to do anything. Um, there may be even a court situation here. So say, yeah, you could be holding on to something literally, okay, really tight. This could have been a queen of swords that took your money from you, okay? This could have been something that's like a black widow, okay? Some, a bitch, okay? I'm a cold-hearted bitch as well. I'm getting this queen of swords that took from you. Because you're like this nine of pentacles, okay? This, it's going to be rewarded. It was some kind of partnership, okay? Someone in a partnership, because we have this two of cups here. Someone you had some kind of partnership with in the past. Partnership doesn't mean you have to be boyfriend, girlfriend, or boyfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend. Partnership could be like a friend thing too, okay? Or some kind of, you know, connection, you know, some kind of contract there. Yeah, somebody's trying to delay this in your life, okay? Somebody's trying to cause a lot of problems. You're like, cherish that down. Cherry Esther Rose. Daddy, stop it. You stop it. You stop. You don't tell me to stop it. Apologize. Say sorry. Cherish. Hold on. She needs to say sorry to me. Hold on. There is a reason why that happened. I just told her out there, oh, you need to tell me sorry now. Someone needs to be telling you sorry, okay? Somebody got into your business, okay? Somebody got into your accounts as well. And like, Something's like a red flag here, okay? A red flag, but yeah, somebody's gonna have to owe you apology. This could be a public apology too, okay? Somebody is also I'm, with this too. This could be, uh, what's the word? Uh, what is it called when somebody, when you go to court and they owe you restitution? Somebody may have to pay some kind of restitution, okay? And they have to pay back fees, okay? If you need to take this person to court too, or these people to court, whoever stole your identity, identity theft, identity fraud, um, they're gonna have to pay the fees, court fees too, okay? They're gonna pay it all back. They were trying to cause drama. They were trying to delay your, delay your money, okay? Delay your life, too. It was being protected. Okay, this could have been... You've been waiting for some news, too, with this page of swords, and you've been waiting, and it's just been delayed, okay? It's going to come in, okay? You, you will find out. Four of Cups is something we're going within, okay? Going within. This is also digging deeper, okay? This is a boss, okay? So we have an emperor on the bottom. Again, this is a authority figure. This could be this detective, okay? A masculine energy coming out. And then we have page of pentacles here, okay? Yeah, this is some kind of um, switch here, okay? Money, job, career. Responsibility. Has to change something up. This is something about changing something up as well. This, I'm also getting mature energy when I see this peacock too. Peacocks can re, uh, uh, represent greediness too, okay? So I'm like seeing this person was very greedy, okay? They didn't care. Okay, they may have done it, to, they may have done it to more than one person, may have done it to many people before, never got caught, and now they're getting caught because uh, you were anointed, okay, you were chosen, you're an earth angel, light worker, and so God had a heavy protection over you, and so you could have been the first one that they actually, the detective was able to catch this person, okay, and the rest got away with it, okay, this could also be insurance fraud too, 
person was involved with insurance fraud. Okay, took a lot of money okay, from vulnerable people. Easy access. So they had access to something, okay? They were able to get access. They could have been spent a hacker as well. So this detective knows something, okay? The detective could be looking into a, ha a hacker as well. Said strong light Libra here. Somebody doesn't want to go to court. I just heard somebody doesn't want to go to court. You may not want to go to court, but to take care of this situation, you may have to go to court. Okay, you may have to go to court. Court sucks, you guys. Going in front of a judge, it does suck. Okay, it does suck. I have to see there. Huh. Justice again. Confirmation. Somebody's going to have to possibly go to court for this, okay? You're going to have to, you know, tell your story via swords because somebody was sabotaging. Someone took something, okay? Here. They're going to have to give you back something. Okay, it says you bossed up. This detective could have bossed up too. Somebody bossed up, okay? Somebody's standing up as well. The Ten of Pentacles came out earlier. Wealthy. You're supposed to be wealthy, okay? You're supposed to, you know, have this money, this abundance, okay? Abundance of money. Abundance means lots of, but you're you're actually supposed to have lots of money, okay? Wealth be wealthy. Okay, where you are able to support you, your you, your family, your your grandchildren, something like that, or your soon be grandchildren, whatever. Um, in your community, okay. It says creeper been caught. This could be that this person, like I said, this person that's a stealing identities and stuff is creeper. Okay, could have been creeping around looking for you know vulnerable people, looking for easy easy targets. Okay, so this detective has caught this person red-handed. Somebody could be on the most wanted fugitive. Okay, for identity theft, identity fraud. Okay, they didn't know. They couldn't find the person, but they finally caught up. Okay, like I said, caught up, distorted female, misleading. There's a female. Uh, the, the female could have uh, misled a, a detective too. Okay, intentionally misled a detective. Yeah, he, he or she's um, investigating these this identity theft, identity frauds, okay? Time's up for them. Clock has ran out, okay? They, they can't get away with it anymore. Being busted. Let's keep hearing somebody who's really greedy with money, okay? Somebody who's really, really greedy with money. Okay, greedy. They didn't care who they hurt in the process. They don't care who they hurt in the process. Nosy neighbor. Okay, this nosy neighbor could be stealing, okay? Taking your mail, your packages, blocking downloads. Detective just got a huge break in this case. Shit's about to be popping. Okay, this has been coming out last two days. Okay, I just put a reading and now it's coming out. So this this detective has a um, huge break in this case. Okay, this identity theft, identity fraud. Um, and shit's about to be popping. Somebody doesn't realize they're going to jail. Okay, somebody does not realize they're going to get locked up for identity theft, identity fraud. Okay, they got caught red-handed. Could be a mad scientist, dangerous, or somebody that has a PhD. We have U.S. Marshals involved, okay, U.S. Marshals. We have most wanted, so we have most wanted fugitive, and we have most wanted. It's pretty much the same thing, okay? I don't, I have it twice here. So that's actually double confirmation here, okay? Bringing evidence to the authorities, facts and truth. 
by bringing evidence to the authorities. It says lie detector test polygraph on the bottom. This is what I'm getting out of this. This is what I'm getting. I'm like, you're a walking polygraph, okay? Um, it could be the detective is a walking polygraph. This detective, you, knows when people are lying, okay? Knows when people are telling the truth. You just know, okay? You just know. They don't like that as well. I just heard games up, okay, game over for this, this, these hackers, these identity theft, identity fraud, okay, these fraudulent people, okay, it's, it's, it's game over, I just heard game over, they don't want you with anyone else or to have, they don't want anyone else to have you, someone's trying to keep you away from somebody, they think you are a conspiracy theorist, but you're the truth, okay, that came out of the reading yesterday, I put a reading out about that, but you're the truth. This could be the femme. So we have a femme that's misleading and another femme. Okay. They are trespassing. Okay. They're going on to somebody's property, stealing stuff, taking stuff. They didn't have permission. Okay. They didn't have permission to trespass against you. Hmm. Person sick and twisted that's stealing, taking. I just heard check forgery as well. The snitch is running from the law or a group of people. So we have a snitch running from the law or a group of people. See, they stole from a divine feminine. Okay, it could be divine masculine too, but right here it's the divine feminine. Okay, they stole from a divine feminine. Okay, they took. Okay, they didn't care. They sure should not care. They're stealing from somebody's home. Okay, they could have stole, like I said, the account numbers. They could have found bank accounts, account numbers. Went into somebody's home. Apartment, condo, stability, sanctuary, shelter, even bank. Like I said, bank statements, bank cards. Okay, it's getting a little bit trickier now to do things like that. Okay, but it does still happen. Confirmation fraud. I just open it up. Look at it. Just open it up. Fraud. ID theft, money order, credit card, wire transfer, money laundering, checks. Somebody doesn't believe in God if they're atheist. Wow, this fell on my lap, you guys. I'll just show you. It fell on my lap. Look at it. it. Fell on my lap. The gig is up. Game over. They can't make fraudulent charges anymore because it's game over. They're getting locked up. They're getting persecuted. They're getting they're getting charged, okay? Criminally charged by this detective. This detective is um, charging them. Yeah, there's dues, restitution, okay, or repayment, okay, repayment. Marry someone in Hawaii, or someone's trying to take off to Hawaii, aloha. Somebody's not going to like what the judge has to say either, okay, is what I just heard. Okay, well, they're in court, somebody's not going to like it. We have a Capricorn coming out, Missouri, Texas, Mississippi, Discover, North Carolina, and number eight. Somebody is born in the early 2000s, I just heard. Okay, somebody is born in the early 2000s. 
we have old money, legacy, wealth, destiny, birthright, and here. See, you're supposed to step into this birthright, okay? This have this inheritance. Be wealthy. It's meant for you. The star property coverage. So they could have broke into your home. They could have broke into your car, your business, your shed, your whatever it is, your condo, whatever, your camper, and they could have took from you, okay? They broke into something, vandalism, property damage. Ages between 30 and 40. Pennsylvania. Massachusetts. Again, this is kind of discovering something. New Hampshire. New Mexico, I'm hearing. Yeah, they're discovering. Okay, this detective discovering. We have Hitman Assassin Murder coming out too. Hitman may have more than one job. Could be involved with identity theft and identity fraud and having fake password, fake IDs. They're under legal investigation. Local federal authorities, detective, private eyes, attorney, background check. Perjury, lying under oath, cover up the guest. Like, like I said, this judge is not happy. Somebody's like contempt of, or, come to con contempt of court. Okay, if they're in court, they're lying. This judge isn't happy about it. And this person has inferior lifestyle. They're low quality, knock off, fraud, sell out. 50% cheap, cheap. There's the fraud again, okay? Fraudulent charges. Because they're doing the devil. Whole time, you could have a sexual connection with this person. Okay, you could have been intimate with this person. They could, you could have been intimate with this person. They had somebody else involved. Okay, so there could have been a, a third party. They could have had somebody. They had, could have had accomplice. Okay, so you could have been like intimate with this person. They had another person come in and steal from you too. Well, they kept you busy. So I'm here like keeping you busy. Okay, keeping you busy, keeping you distracted. And then wow, said so that that and that opened up money theft, um, bank hacked account fraud, cash schemes, plots. Card stolen credit cards. Okay. My door, somebody's knocking my door and I'm not answering it. Okay, child protection service can be involved, CPS. CPS, Uranus, Aquarius, Grandpa. We have the police, police detective, okay. It was an inside job. Okay, somebody you knew, somebody that this person knew, okay. The person knew, okay, inside job. They knew. Silent treatment, you could be silent, giving silent treatment. Okay, not talking to this person now. They may not talk to you either. So, if they did this to you and all of a sudden they like went MIA, went off, like you know, went off grid or whatever, like you just didn't hear from this person more, they ghosted you, blocked you, whatever, silent treatment you, this because they stole from you, they took something from you. Okay, just disappeared. Deception, friend. I've been there, guys. I've been there. So, I know it's like it's happened to me in the past. So, I've had identity theft. And I had identity fraud, too. So, and I'm working on fucking getting all that corrected and fixed. So, I do know that, okay? But this is a, like a current entry. It could be past, present, or future. But, I know this isn't my reading. But, I can still re uh, resonate with that, relate. Non-family members. This could be a non-family member. Could be a father. Wow, yeah, we have father coming out because we have Jupiter again. Jupiter's father, Zeus, okay? Um, Sagittarius and Pisces. There's some kind of backup plan. Okay, they had some kind of backup plan too. Then we have Mars, Aries, and Scorpio. You could have been stalked too. Okay, they were stalking your finances. They were stalking you. Okay, now this detective stalking them.
Okay, I'm going to pull these and I think I will get some names tonight. I didn't get names last couple of nights. They should have thought. They should have thought twice before they mess with you. Master game player. Okay, this is a master game player. It's not who you think it is. Okay, it's not who you think it was. So there could be somebody else. Totally somebody different. Okay, so maybe you thought it was this person, but it was somebody else working with them. Or you thought differently of this person too, okay? You thought differently of this person. You, or you didn't think this person would ever do this to you. Okay, that's what I just heard. You never thought this person would actually steal from you or steal your identity or steal, like, fraud, okay? Insurance fraud. You never thought that would happen. But it did. Okay, it did. Okay, what else, Spirit? What else going on here? Work with herbs more. Spirit wants to work with herbs more. And you, this is a woman. This could have been a woman stealing from you. Okay? You could be a woman. I'm, I'm getting a woman stealing from you. A femme. Okay? Especially if it's um, misleading. always on the go they're always on the go sudden upheaval okay this is for you sudden upheaval because i want it okay i i've heard that i just want to really know what upheaval means because i don't know you guys and I, i'm not i'll be on here i'll be like when i don't know something i don't know what upheaval well i want to really know what it means Okay, so sudden upheaval, a violent or sudden change or disruption to something, an upward disclaimant of part of Earth's crust, strong or violent change or disruption in a society. So this is a big change, okay, a big, big change. Turmoil, disorder, disruption, okay, but something was like disrupting your life. A big change which caused a lot of trouble, confusion, worry, okay, yeah, okay, I want this down. If I don't know something, guys, you know I'd look into it, okay? I'm not perfect. I'm not the smartest. I'm more intuitive, going with my gut feeling and what I hear from spirit. And I'm not afraid to admit that either. That's one thing. I'm not afraid to admit, admit things either. Having a baby will mean the greatest uphill table in your life yeah sure does huh. okay the island was created by people of the ocean floors so this caused an upheaval in someone's life okay this caused some kind of chaos trouble confusion in somebody's life but it's causing some kind of change as well okay that's why it came out so it came out perfectly for this reading so Don't ever feel, don't ever be afraid to like question something or ask something or do the research, you guys, okay? We are supposed to be here. We're supposed to be questioning things, okay? We're supposed to be looking into it. We're supposed to be getting answers, okay? This this planet right now, Earth is a school for us, for us to learn from, okay? I used to be afraid to like ask questions or stuff. I'm asking my husband questions late, lately and then I, he's like, looks at me. He, I think he, at first he's like, really, you don't know that, Jamie? And I go, no, I don't. I didn't pay attention. Because I asked him. The other thing, you guys, what's going on? I asked him what congressmen are. Okay, I asked what the Congress is. Guys, I'm not fucking political. I'm not into all that shit. Okay? I'm learning about it as I go because a lot of that stuff is coming out of my fucking readings. Okay? I'm channeling this stuff. I'm hearing Congress. I'm hearing cover-ups. I'm hearing stuff. I'm hearing it all. And so, like, I don't know some of the answers to it, so I'm asking my husband. And he kind of looked at me like, really? I go, I didn't pay attention to politics in school. I should have. And I actually 
I, I didn't pay attention so much, but I got an A. I remember getting an A in so, social studies and, like, politics, whatever, but I did, I don't remember paying attention. I really didn't give a shit two fucks about it. Okay, I really did not. And I still don't. But I know that's going on in the world and that stuff like that and I need to know things, you know? But, and then one other time I said something and he literally looked, he was like, really, Jamie? And I go, Michael, really? I'm asking you not because I'm asking you because I'm being a smart ass. I'm asking you because I want to know the question. Don't make me look stupid. Don't make me look dumb. And like, he got, kind of got a little irritated and then he walked, like, and I walked off and I started, actually, you guys, I'm giving you a story about me quick. I started crying. Okay? Because he made me feel kind of really stupid dumb for a minute, you know? My own damn husband. And, like, because he's younger than me, you guys. He's eight years younger than me. He's just turned 30. He'll be 31 in August, okay? I'll be 39 in December, okay? So, we have, there's an eight, eight year, um, eight years eight gap. But he's very, my husband's very intellectual, very, very smart, and very smart with politics and, um, the law. He's been, that's what he did a lot when he was in prison, okay? He was always in prison, okay? Majority of his life, he was in jail or prison, so he did a lot of studying then, okay? Um, he studied the law so he can, you know, know his rights and know his, you know, all that stuff. So I asked him and then like, he did come apologize to me later on. He's like, I'm sorry. He's like, cause it, oh, it was about a comment one time. I asked him like this comment. I'm like, is this comment like, are they like targeting me? Like trolling me? And is it a negative thing or does this mean a good thing? And he's like, what do you think? Read the word, read it again. And I read it. I'm like, I, Michael, I asked you because I read it five times and I don't know. And I'm like, I actually read it 10 times now. And I don't know. I don't get the word. I don't get how they're saying this comment. Is it towards me in a bad way or a good way? And like, that's when I walked off because I started crying. Because like, read it again. I'm like, I read it. And I read, you guys, literally, I read the comment over and over. I read it at least 10 times. And I I didn't know what the, I, when I read it, I'm like, okay, maybe they're, they're actually for me, they're saying something really kind, they're giving me a compliment, okay, that's what I said, but I'm like, but then the word, I'm like, no, maybe they're not giving me a compliment, maybe they're attacking me, and then he came back there, because I was literally crying, and he came back there, and he said, I'm sorry, he's like, you told me before, he's like, da, 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 I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I came to you and asked you, because I was actually asking not to make me look stupid, like, why would I go up to somebody and ask that, like, why, to make myself look stupid, like, why, you know, and he's like, I'm sorry, he's like, just read it again, he's like, I'm like, I did read it again, I'm like, I feel like he's, it's a compliment, and it's being nice, I'm like, but then this word confuses me, and he's like, it is a compliment, he's like, they are being nice to you, he's like, they're giving you a big compliment, actually, he's like, when you read this, I'm like, okay, and like, it was like, you know what I mean, like, yeah, so that could be too, you know what I mean, like, there could be some kind of confusion as well, and like, I don't know where they got off of that. That got off track. I'm sorry. Distract. See somebody distracting you. Somebody could have just tried to distract you off that. Oh, wait. I don't know. That was something a little bit personal about me, you guys. I, oh, I was talking about, like, learning school and stuff. And don't feel stupid. Don't feel dumb. He did make me feel stupid and dumb at that time. That told me he really hurt my feelings. He told me he, hurt, he really did. He did hurt my feelings. He really did. Um, but he did apologize, you guys. And that's, you know, us working on each other. Okay, so let's go back to the reading. Back to this detective. Knowing about this identity theft, identity fraud. Okay, this person's going to jail for it. Okay, that's going to be how that change is going to happen in your life, okay? It's going to maybe, you know, make things better in your life. Can we get three more? Thank you. Okay, this could be a red rum drained by energy vampire. Okay, but then on the other side, it was also weed tap and shrooms tap in. Somebody could be using weed or shrooms. But this one I'm getting, this could be an energy vampire as well, okay? Some of you are doing energy vampire. The man with a thousand children's Netflix. Somebody has a thousand children. I don't know what that is. The TV show man. But somebody has a thousand children. A lot of people, children. And then I'm, I'm reading the back too because it's significant for this reading. A nervous tick habit. Somebody has a nervous tick habit that could have been stealing from you, taken from you. Sorry, my nails. You guys, I was repotting a plant. There's dirt in them still. We have word lock and follow up, but okay. Raise your vibration now. Fractured sexual sacral. So you, um spirit wants you to raise your vibration, okay? It could have been a little bit lowered, okay? When somebody took from you, it's really painful, okay? Like you went through a lot. But spirit wants you to raise your vibration, okay? Um your frac your sacral chakra is fractured. Okay, that's your creativity, okay? Your your mentoring, stuff like that. So you need to work on that. You need to work on your root chakra and your sacral chakra. This could be a dark collective person as well. I'm getting okay. I'm getting dark collective person. Okay, I'm gonna grab like a few names and then we're gonna close out.
Take time for you. Pitbull. So we have the Pitbull. Or in Pitbull Energy where they lock down. Like I said, somebody's being locked down. So there could be some kind of lockdown too. Okay, I'm just in lockdown. Lockjaw. Okay. Somebody's bank accounts be locked down. Okay, too. Or something. Something like accounts being locked out. Locked down. Seized. Locked. Viking. Men in Black. Hugo. Your dreams are all that you have. We don't have cookies. Mm -hmm. No. Grab a big cake. Grab a big cake. I'm James. Cake. You want cake? Mm -mm. Can I finish these names? Okay. Lindsay. That's Lindsay. Yep. That's my Lindsay. Yep, my sister. Yep, Lindsay. That's yes. my Lindsay. And then we have Pine Island. Okay, take the card here. I want to take Lindsay. Right here, yeah. Lindsay. Pine yeah. Island. The other card. Other side is Pine Island. Okay, just let me finish this. This is Lindsay's name? Right here is Lindsay's name. Your sister, yep, your auntie Lindsay and your sister Lindsay. Auntie Lindsay and sister Lindsay. Yes. And my like Carmi. Carmi's your sister too, yes. That's Carmi's room. That's my Remy. Okay, can I finish this? No? Mm. Why can't I finish it? Because I want... My sister Lindsay's card. We're gonna see Sister Lindsay tomorrow. No, that one Sister Lindsay's card is named Lindsay's card. Yep, that's her name, Lindsay. Yep, you can. Yep, that's Sister Lindsay. Okay. Yep. Okay. That's. That's, that's James. That's Jamie's name. No, J James. There's James and Jamie. Yeah, it's, it's it's similar. Yeah, some people call me James. That was my nickname. This is Mother Day, my mom. No, that's not your mom. That's it. Yeah, well, yeah. That, okay, yes. Your dream's all that you have. Yes, mom's dream's all that she has. We can dream big. Yes, we can dream big. You can dream big. Thanks. Mom, what's my name? Mom, what's my, mom, mom, what's my name go? I don't know. Well, wait, well, can I read these names still? Liar or Lair. Well, there's a Lair. We have Hitman. That's not my name. Nope, Hitman. You, that's not my name either. You are marvelous. Yes, you are. You're marvelous. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Not marvelous. Marvelous means you're you're good, <laughs> happy. That's Lindsay and awesome. marvelous. That's me. That's Lindsay. Marvelous means happy, good, that's great, Lindsay. all that. That's Lindsay and my me. Happy. That's me and Lindsay. Okay, can I read the other name on the side? I need to read the back side too. Princess. Oh, you're a princess. <laughs> you're Princess Cherish. Yeah, I'm Mina, and I'm Princess too. Your Princess Cherish. We have my love. Somebody's love. My love. That's yours, love. My love. Yeah. And then we have Virgin. Somebody's a virgin. Okay. That's mom's version. Yeah. My. Yeah. Mom's okay. Version. Okay. <laughs> we have Las Vegas. This is my name, mom. Nope. No. South Dakota. That's, that's my name now. South Dakota. That's we have my name. Booth. Mother. Booth. Um, where's my name? Okay, okay, let's see. Hold on. This is, this is, this is, this oh. is Cody. No, it's Cody? Well, we didn't, okay, there's no, it doesn't say Cody, but it's just named Cody, okay? It's named Cody. It's Nefertiti. That's Nefertiti. What's and then this we have, name? we have severe detachment disorder. That's Chessis. It's my name. That's my name, Chessis. No, severe <laughs> detachment order. Okay. Stop, sure, stop. I'm, I'm gonna get confused. I'm Gabe, Gabe, dealing with the devil, dark energy. Somebody dealing with the devil. <laughs> dealing with the devil, dark energy. Remy, Remy. Uh, patient treatment. Okay, guys, I got pauses because she's really getting confused. Me, I got pauses. Okay, I don't apologize for her coming in, but I apologize how these are going to be read. So I'm gonna go back to reading them again, you guys. Okay, I know if you guys don't want to, I'm gonna go back to reading them. You are marvelous, yes, you are, princess. Okay, we have both. Troy, South Dakota, number one, most important number, workaholic, okay, it's clean slate, Las Vegas, great grandpa Petrock, Hitman, Louisville, Blair, Bill, your dreams are all that you have, Arkansas, James, Chantel, Hugo, Meadow, Men in Black, Billy, Viking, One Lane, Pitbull, 
and they are a lost cause. This person's a lost cause that was stealing from me, okay? Hacking, whoever's a lost cause. Okay, I just, I know I, we could just read one side, but then Cherish got in here. I didn't read them all, okay? Then we'll go like this. I'm just going back to that. Dating the plug, somebody's dating the plug. Landon, Gabe, somebody's dealing with a dark energy, the devil. Outpatient treatment, okay? Somebody could be stealing, they could have been in outpatient treatment, or they're going outpatient treatment. Remy, Severe detachment disorder. So this person that could be hacking and like identity theft and identity fraud could have some kind of severe detachment disorder, okay? Nefertiti. We have Virgin. My love. It says my love. Um, Big Daddy. Okay, Big Daddy. Lindsay. Pine Island. Make it happen, make it rain. Robinson. Berkeley. Pakistan. Spades, Viper Kings, Vortex, Batman. Wow, we have Princess, now we have Prince. Prince and then Abby. Okay, you could be a princess or prince. Okay, somebody could have stole from you, taken from you. Okay, remember they came up money earlier, the wealth and stuff too. Oh, wealth. Okay, I was going to grab a couple of these too. They weren't happy. Something about this too. This achievement too. This detective could be receiving achievement. You could be receiving achievement. Oh yeah, because look at there's a confirmation. Yeah, thief. There was a thief. Okay. They're manipulating. Pissed off that you're single, sexy, and successful. And here's the legal system or the legal just okay, the justice department legal situation. Okay. Department of Justice. Okay, U.S. Department of Justice. This could be a detective too. Investigator. Investigator. I don't know. Is investigator detective the same? I think they are. Change. There's a change again. Let's see. The term detective and investigator are often used interchangeably to refer to a police officer who investigates crimes. However, there are some differences between the two roles, including types of cases they work on and legal authority they have. Okay, detective, tip, okay, so there is a difference. Detectives typically work for law enforcement agencies such as police departments and investigate criminal matters like felonies and homicides. They have the legal authority to arrest suspects, criminals. To become a detective, you usually need at least three years of law enforcement experience to out or active duty to patrol and you should receive police academy training. Okay, what's the difference between the investigator? Typical detectives work on cases involving homicides and felonies, while criminal investigators work on range of criminal and civil cases such as fraud and missing. So this is actually investigator. Okay, I'll, I'll say detective investigator, okay? So, so detectives are more as homicide and, right, homicide and, what was that? Felony. Oh, like felony. Well, felonies. This matters of felonies and homicide. Well, fraud is a felony. The detective investigator, okay? Somebody went through awakening, and then we have a mature man. Okay, this could be a detective investigator. That's just mature man. Okay, somebody's blocked. Their assets are blocked. Blocked accounts as well. Being blocked, okay? They can't move forward anymore. Someone was doing really... something. Someone was doing something really, really illegal, okay? And... Uh, been doing it for years okay they were doing it for years pull this out detoxify full moon and taurus okay detoxify somebody's getting rid of negative energy negativity releasing okay purging 
detoxifying. Someone could be wanting to detox too, okay? I just heard that. Somebody's going to detox. Okay, let's see what energy is coming out for you. Self-acceptance, okay? Accepting yourself for who you are, who you're meant to be. It's also accepting the situation too, okay? Everything happens for a reason. Okay, it's to make you stronger. It's to make you learn from it. Details leading up to this crime, murder, may be worth investigating, okay? So that's why, um, war fraud, okay, theft, um, it's worth investigating. So that's why the detective was investigating the situation, or investigator. There was more committing the crime. Money. Premeditated. Okay, I just heard premeditated. This person could have sustained a wound during the crime or the murder too, so they could have got hurt, injured. Okay, when they're breaking into home, remember vandalism came out earlier, so they could have got um, injured as well. So some kind of DNA could be left to the scene. Okay. So there could have been children that witnessed this. A child could have witnessed this. Could have been home. Could have been teenagers too. I just heard something about teenagers involved. Okay, I'm going to get a crystal card to close it too. Let's close this out, thank you. We have Jade. Wellness. They re the recovery of health and wellness is here. Okay, somebody's recovering. Okay, somebody's recovering from this. Healing from this. Aqua Aura. Healthy communication in relationships. So some, some kind of healthy communication. Somebody communicating properly. Heart to heart discussions and clear, assertive communication help you understand and be understood. So this investigative detective could be like, uh, um, communicating with you or communicating with other people. And we have watermelon tourmaline. You guys, I do have watermelon tourmaline in my shop. Um, I do have Jade in my shop as well. Stress reduction. De stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to rest, recharge, and re. Revive. I do have watermelon tourmaline in my shop, you guys. Check that out. It's a bracelet. Actually, I have an inklet, too. No. Okay. 18. Okay, new opportunities. Keep positive thoughts. Some new opportunities coming in. I, I love you guys. Leo, Aries, Taurus, Pisces, and number four. If somebody works at the post office or somebody was a um, mailman, a rural mailman or a post office, they're going to be in charge big time because they were stealing from you, okay? I just heard that I was getting ready to leave, okay, or close this out. I just heard that somebody could have been working, and I was getting a mail figure that was working, okay? Um, we work in rural areas, okay? They've been stealing, okay? Stealing credit cards, stealing mail, um, not delivering the mail, not delivering the packages. They're being charged federally, okay? Does that um, anything about mail theft, mail fraud is a federal offense, okay? So this investigator could be looking into this, okay? If your stuff was being stolen, it's because um, it could be a UPS worker, like, you know, I'm a post office worker. That's a federal offense. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, healing. Namaste.